Hello my sporks and welcome to more Castlevania Mario of Sorrow. Last time we got to claim Solias. This time Oh yeah, also, uh we got the mimic. Mimic's gonna be kinda important. For money. But yeah. We'll be using that a bit later. Not right now. Sadly, we aren't getting any souls here. But this time, it's time to go and get through this place. Oh god. Well, the good news for me is that I don't need to worry too much. Though, we will be back there. Because it can get us to a certain weapon. I don't need the Ukabak! <laughs> It's gonna be like, really? Not fan merman. Oh god, this thing. At least it dies quickly here. That's the only armor of war. Not what we need her. Nope. So I have to go. Oh! Great, thanks game. I'm trying to get to a specific location so I can actually end up... Alright, there's a path down here. Alright, that thing is also still there. The... Flying fish. This is the second location where you can use the flying fish. Okay, so that's where down's going. <gasps> Damn, I had to be interrupted. Yoko! Are you alright? If you say if you're okay, say something. Anything. I'm oh alright. Thank you for rescuing me. Graham, the bastard, what has he done? Yes, absorb his castle's power. And it's gotten much stronger. Oh, uh, my plan has failed. Save your strength. There's no need to speak. Be cautious of him. D don't overexert yourself. <laughs> All right. This. Uh, I'm quite sure it's meant to be spaced out into another text box. For some reason, it's not. So it's like, why you go? Oh, she's. The impact of it, she may be dead is not there. <laughs> Unrest made pow my power you acquired. Don't just stand there mumbling. Yoko's in bad shape. Go. I will see to her wounds. I can't just leave her like this. She's my friend. Soma, you just met her today, too. Oh my god. I want someone to punch him. Be like, dude, do not worry about her. I believe there are others. Things you need to do. Grim went to the throne room. What's there? What are you hiding from me? I cannot say. You must go over yourself. And if you don't, you will lose Mia. And Yoko as well. Her fate is in your hands. Damn you! I don't like your attitude, but I don't think you're lying. It feels as well I'm being manipulated. I don't like it, but I'll do as you say. 
But if we ever escape this castle alive, I want to know everything. Fair enough. Now be on your way. It's not. Yeah, they just disappear. Not by far. Can get rid of the gargoyle while we're traversing down. I got a parfait or pudding. Oh wait, is this the one with? It wriggles and jiggles. I don't remember. Wh I didn't remember which Castlevania game that it said it wiggles and jiggles. It's this one. Yay! It's... Oh, the underground cemetery. Okay, this is an optional area too. But we actually want to go through here. It's completely optional. That's where you're meant to meet the flame demon. And we can't hit these guys. I keep activating it. The mock punch! Oh, is this the... Oh, this one might... This one... This... This soul... This... This enemy might carry the best soul. I wonder where Jaguar, because I believe it's literally one of the best things for me, at least. Okay. All oh, right. Okay. Switch to Headhunter. Um. We will actually want flying armor. None of these souls are actually that good for this thing, but we'll bring Flame Demon. And it's time for Legion. How Legion works is that the more you hit off of it, the more enemies will come out. I'm gonna wait until the Legion rises up. But to the soul, we need to actually destroy all the pieces of Legion. Use the time while Legion's up there to just take out the, the parts of the bottom. And a part of it's broken away, and now we can see that where the core is, but we don't want it to hit the core yet. Okay. And all the cores, now the core is free, now we can whack at it and actually damage the Legion. Oh great, Legion's now ramming about. There we go! And now, if you don't, if you didn't do that, you would not get the new soul bag, but you would obtain the Legion soul. The Legion soul is actually pretty busted. Seriously, this is actually pretty busted. Yeah, but we just get more of the area, and you get some rewards from this. You get a high potion, which is actually pretty good. Five more Kagnazos. Not trying to find those. 
fight more flame demons. Not really helpful either. But you get the gold ring, which I don't believe does anything useful. Yeah, no. Oh, make some enemies leave my hand more money. Okay, that might actually be useful if we weren't also trying to hunt down pretty much a lot of the enemies here. <laughs> it's not too useful, but hey. It's a bit more it's more useful than the blade of gold. Oh, there is a soul here. Gallimoth. Alright, this is where Gallimoth is. Gallimoth isn't actually needed, but hey, it's still kind of useful. So we can actually go back up to where we were stopped by time. Which I believe we can see is... Yeah, the top left point where it just stops, I believe. And now the dead bodies don't come, because Legion's dead. But yeah, just to show off how powerful this is, yeah. <laughs> if you're not getting punched by a weird jaguar, it kills them in two hits without you needing to do anything. I'm actually going to grind for these guys a bit, because honestly, I believe these guys. Oh wait, switch my soul set back to Ghost Dancer. Nope, there's nothing. That, there's nothing that increases my luck here. sword. I just want to get this one because this one's the one one of the ones I actually kind of really like even though it's not good. <laughs> Punch again. Punch throws punches faster than I can see. I'm not wanting the monk punch though. You're not getting the punch off me. Okay, I'll go one more round through after this next one. One more. <laughs> I wish there was a way. Well, there is. We just won't be getting it for a long while. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Nope. There we go! Back's an extremely powerful straight punch. Oh wait, is this his one? Quite sure. Maybe it's not. Oh, this is not the one. Is 
the werewolf that's the one that does that. Oh, it might have been the werewolf. Yeah, no, it's the werewolf. Oh, that sucks. I mistook the two. Oh wait, maybe it's a Cognazzo actually. So I remember getting it around Oh great. Yeah, a lot of enemies start spawning here. And yeah, they can just guard. It's really annoying. Yeah, if you want to get Bifron, you have to actually come here, which is really annoying, honestly. I really am not a fan of that. Uh, I don't remember anything for that one. More needles. The arena! And we actually want to try and find the warp point here. Not because this place is bad, but because this place is hard to get back to. Oh yeah, the beam skeleton! Sadly, it doesn't have the amazing sprite it has in Symphony of the Night. The sprite that everyone, even if they haven't played the game, probably knows. Why the hell do they think it was good to make it look like it fires out of its crotch? Oh, can one shot those guys. Okay, so I don't need to worry about them. But we want the killer mantle if we can. Mainly because it's going to make grinding so much easier against specific sets of enemies. But I also want to make sure I get to a uh, warp point. Oh no. Skull million. Oh, there's the warp. I knew it wasn't that far, so I wasn't too worried. I didn't think it was that close, being honest. For a moment, I thought I saw the soul come out. I was like, really? And yeah, Yoko's just here. So the good news is, we can actually sell a lot of these. Because we're never going to really use these again, because being real, the gear we've got is literally endgame. Uh, I might, I'm gonna keep that. Actually, no, I'm not gonna keep that. Uh, Rune Ring. Rune Ring still got some use. But. Okay, so. Before. Because I want to make sure we got the Rune Ring, I might as well start showing off. How do you grind for money in this game? You don't go for items. 
instead get up here, get to the warp point, you go to the clock tower, you climb it for a bit, you curse the Medusa heads because they're blocking the way. Oh my god. You kill the Valkyrie because you want to try and get a soul and it won't drop. And you'll get angry at the Lightning Doll too because its soul won't drop. You'll get angry at the Gremlin because this thing's annoying. And you'll get angry at the Medusa heads again. Because you're trying to get back. And I mean, you don't really need to go this way. You probably could go the other way. Not that way. Soul set up. Nope, Skula. We want Skula. This armor, and we walk across, hope to get in the juice ahead, save, and then we switch to the mimic. And we let ourselves get hit a bunch of times, and we made quite a bit of money. And then we go back to heal, and we do it all over again. Make sure to wait till you're fully healed first. Make sure the Medusa heads don't, also don't hit you. Because it does fix damage, it's the best way to do this. It's quite fast, but it's also quite easy to kill yourself, so save every time you do so. Because you don't want to end up losing all this money. This is also another reason why I'm going. Another time I'm going to be buying accidentally, buying just rewinding because this is kind of tedious. I'll be real, it's not fun, but it is generally the best way to grind for money. Plus, it means you can also grind for Medusa heads while you're here. So we're going to be here for a bit. Very close. We're almost there, though. Because I believe it is literally the amount of damage we take.
If not, then it's a bit more. Be still here for a bit. For a moment, I thought I got the soul, and I was gonna be like, oh my god. almost there. The good news is it means that any extra money we have we don't need to spend on weapons. Because we got the best weapon there is. And yes, I'm showing this all on screen just to show you guys how bloody tedious this is. It's not fun. I don't even know why the Mimic Soul gives this. Like, this is a weird ability for it to give. Sorry, I just want to kill that Medusa head. Almost there. We're almost there. We're almost done the boring grind. Let's get a bit of the extra money, currently. Just, just in case I'm wrong with the number off the top of my head. And 
Yes, I am doing this off the top of my head. So I think it is 23,000. There we go. You know what, I'm gonna quickly fill one, man. Skula. Just to see if I can try. Now it's roll. So such a noko. Go down to the bottom. Okay, I was good actually. Make sure. I Soul Eater Ring. Increases luck, but also increases drop rates of souls. Specifically souls. I'm not actually going to grind, but... More just a... A little bit of a showcase. Zombie. Becomes stronger when poisoned. Yeah. Didn't take that long to get for these guys. Zombie off. Oh, I've got the zombie off. Actually, wait. I don't think I've got the guys up here, do I? Not these guys. Okay, maybe I do actually. Oh, the dolls I do want to have, but. Mm. You know what? I'll wait a second, a little bit extra long. Poison Claws. Oh, no, we're not going up there yet. It's called Crusader. The Gladiator. I've got the beam skeleton! Fire's deadly beam! The weird tiger, maybe. Maybe it's the weird tiger. 
me a walk from here, because I believe down here. Yeah, this is a save point. I'm gonna bet you're doing a bad grind, because, uh, A, Killer Mantle. We really want this. And I want to at least. Probably show the best grind spot, which is here. I'm quite sure this is the best grind spot, at least. God, stop moving! Stupid killer mantle. Oh yeah, and these guys only appear in like two rooms. The There we go, Killer Mantle. Ability to swap HP and MP of enemies, and some MP enemies have zero MP, be and actually do. Well, those that do have MP, 10 quote unquote MP, P, do have zero MP, so uh, that makes no sense. I'll show it. Not with these guys, because these guys uh, don't have an MP slot, I don't believe in our So this is the, probably one of the best places to get the Dead Crusader soul. Red Minotaur. Okay, so uh, where is it? Kill Mantle. Oh, is there a way to... Yeah, insta-kill. Wicker way of killing a lot of enemies. This includes the golems. Nope, it's not this, so maybe the werewolf of the carving out zone. I don't know which one it is. The red mentors, you just want to grind with the killer mantle. The levitane is here, so if you haven't gotten the flying soul Elias or haven't gotten the Kali Soul, you can do so. This is the best place to grind for Minotaur, so yeah. High potion. So I'm not getting these guys. Yeah, no, we're not getting up there for a while. All right, these are challenge rooms. Erinus. Okay, so. These are definitely not the last time we'll see the Medusa Souls, but I think this is the last time we'll actually be having to deal with them. With Medusa Head! We still we've got the ability to stop in midair, which is actually going to be kind of useful for the boss here. The Art Demons are here! Oh my god! Screw off Medusa Heads! You know what? I'm going to...
I'm not dealing with this, because this is for a weapon we're not, but me, the player, I'm not going to use. Battle long. Want another extra weapon? There. For me, it's literally self-auto. Oh great, it's the Rubicons! Or as they're called in this game for some reason, Lubicons! Ah. No, I am not dealing with that. Worse, they can't be dealt with by uh, the cloth. Oh my god, why? You know what? Kill him out, or get off. I'm surprised we've got it, Soul. I'm not wanting to lose it because, uh. It's Soul's actually kinda hard to get. It's not even needed. It's just a soul that's kind of hard to get, but it's actually going to make certain fights really useful. No. Ah. There we go. I hate those wrecking balls. Sorry, I'm not taking damage right now. Because we've got to go back that way! Because someone thought that was a good idea. Orlok's a suit. I mean, it's not much of a defense decrease, so I'm going to take it for now. But yeah, we have to fight them again. Worse is the fact that we can't exactly do much about it. Worse is the fact that these guys, because of how unpredictable they are, it's so hard, partly, to just draw them away from the goddamn statues, but also knowing if they're going to try and hit you where you are, or where you're going, or where they think you're going to be. Never dealing with that again. Goodbye. No more lubricants. Oh god. You know what? I'm gonna go back up before I go through this one. Yeah, I'll make it a very long episode because I did kind of just ruin part of it by just grinding. But hey, at least we get to find ways to cheese the, what's considered, what many people consider to be the hardest non-true ending fight. Try to not kill too many of these because 
this is actually a pretty good sort of grinding spot. By doing what feels like the Konami code at times, we get the Rare Ring. Increases the appearance of rate of, rate of rare items. We have all the rings that give us some pretty good effects, honestly. So, uh, yeah. Uh, now, excuse me while I switch to you. <laughs> Switch to Medusa Hatch. Switch to Flame Demon. Let's move in. It's time for the bat. The giant bat, specifically. Or not. Meet Balor. Balor is a bit infamous because he hits like a truck and Honestly, phase one really sucks because you can't really control where his hands go and they're pretty much almost always active hurt boxes. Oh, now it's, the, now it's time for the Medusa Soul. Guess what? We can just levitate. This fight becomes a joke halfway through. But also because we have this. If we don't have this, it's not as easy. But yeah, this is the only fight that Medusa is useful, so uh... Alright, uh, before I forget, let's get the heal. And get the giant bat soul. And... It is indeed... Not a giant bat. Don't even get any cool things about it. At least not yet. And, oh. Oh. Jay, what's wrong? You look pale. D don't worry, just now. All my memories came flooding back. What? Seems your dark power triggered the return of my memories. Just like a guest, I have an ex quite an extensive history with Dracula. I thought so. My real name is Julius Belmont. He is canonically the last Belmont and the only Belmont to actually kill Dracula. And if you probably could make a connection, he does look like the creator of the Metroidvania series, Igarashi. <laughs> I am a descendant of a clan that has fought against Dracula for ages. And the person who destroyed Dracula in 1999 was, yes, it was me, but there were others who assisted me. So if Dracula is revived again, just as it is written in the prophecy, but they must destroy him. It's my destiny. You haven't met a man named Graham yet, have you? Graham? Oh, you mean that missionary, right? I met him a little while ago, but when he saw my face, he turned and ran. He told me that he was Dracula. I did sense Dracula's work at work, a work, powers at work within him, but it's hard to, it's difficult to believe that he's Dracula ever. I think. No, forget it. It's never more than a hunch. Huh? Assuming that he is Dracula, I won't be able to kill him yet. Why not? I need my weapon. Your weapon? Yes, it's a weapon that was handed down to me. It's called Vampire Killer. In 1999, I sealed it in this castle to weaken his, his spirit and magical powers. That means it's in the castle somewhere? Yes, and I know exactly where it is. I'll go get it now. Alright, please be careful. Pray that my hunch proves wrong to me now. Wrong. Pray well for now. I am very bad at my, my English. But yeah, we now have truly met all the characters.
But, you know what? I'll make this a little bit longer. Why not? Now let's fly up here, because if we can get into this room, we meet a new enemy! The Succubus! Can we get the black cloak? Not very useful, because it's all your right. Also, Rubber Ducky! But there's a reason why we want to actually... Grind a bit here. There is other times where we can meet Succubus. This is the earliest. And there's a reason why it's one of the earliest. It's because they want you to actually notice. I got a heart pendant, which is not very useful. The regular pendant. Great. Thanks, game. Clearly what I wanted, wanted when I've got the Solia ring. Ah, uh, I mean, I got the little soul. It's not the soul I wanted. I want the succubus. Because the succubus soul is also a pretty good soul. Succubus absorbs HP when an ordinary attack is delivered. A really good soul and is actually mandatory. But we also have all the mandatory souls we need for going for the true ending. I'll talk about that later though. We're gonna pretend we don't have any idea the true ending, what is required for true ending. We'll be making our way backwards, so uh, we'll be seeing the Kaganazos again. But also, we'll be seeing a few other enemies again. Granted, I, I also will be probably grinding on. Hey, it's a giant skeleton! But I don't believe it's the same as the other one. Yeah, Creaking Skull is different from Giant Skeleton, so, uh, yeah, don't think that mistaken Creaking Skull and Giant Skeleton. If you want to grind for Giant Skeleton, here's to do it. And we've got Bale here. I did not see Bale here before, so, uh, make sure to defeat him. Or some, or or in some other places, he's called Ball. So technically, we're not actually going to be able to do anything for a while. Technically, very big technically. So next, technically, we can go straight to the. End game because we got everything we need technically. Again, very big technically. Uh, next time though, I will actually be going back through a lot of these areas. Yes, and we'll be going to within the big blob of a map, the top left, the topmost left. Uh, save point. Not the top topmost, not where the hang gardens are, but below that. Because I believe that's where the... Uh, I think it's called the Chrono Mage. Is. And hopefully we can end up getting a few other souls while I'm going on the way back. 
So... Oh! I got the gladiator soul. Alright, there's also one more thing I do have to show after that, but we'll, I'll show it while... What is with me trying to end episodes? What's it? What's why? Why is it doing this now? Uh, I'll see you guys then for when we actually end up getting uh, up there. For me, I'm going to be going through this game a bit more. So this is Xena and Zuma signing out.